They have always been a very loving family. Barbara was raised <clears throat> in a, what I think is a conservative home. She had a mother and father who apparently loved her. I grew up in the church. I was an individual. My father was the Ministry of Music. Um, my mother, she didn't attend church, but certainly she would always get us ready for church. But what happened to me is I was just an individual who was sitting on the pew. In December of 1990, I had been arrested for the 56th time. Prostitution, theft, I'm sure she's beat up and robbed people. At least 20 or 25 of those arrests, 56 times that I had been arrested. came with me being violent. I'll never forget the date. It was December the 19th, 1990. Um, I was in a drug house. And they it was asking everybody if they saw a Barbara Colvin. I don't know how I knew it, but for some reason I knew that this was gonna be the last time that I would shoot dope. Um, Deputy Sidney Harder came and told me that I had a phone call out in the hallway. And when I went out there, it was my um, aunt, my mother's sister, told me that my mom had passed away. Even when I'm talking about it now, it's something that I cannot explain to you mentally, but it's something very, very spiritual. Um, because, I mean, knowing her the way that I knew her, why would I be drawn to her, this notorious woman? I wanted her attention, or it was something. I, I just can't explain what that was. At that point is when I made up my mind that I had some serious issues to deal with, and that if I didn't deal with them, they were gonna deal with me. Many times there were tears in my eyes when I heard her tell a story.